8 a.m. in the morning. We are in the middle of the night. And um, I am making this video to share um, an experience I had. And I will, from time to time, make videos like this to share observations that I have about the Beyond Body. I talked previously in another video about an evolution that was happening with me and that I've felt now for years that I've been pushing the envelope in regards to astral projection and specifically going beyond astral projection with these beyond body experiences. But I wanted to um, quickly talk about the beyond body for those of you who might be just simply tuning into this randomly. You might have just found my YouTube uh, channel and might be thinking, what is the beyond body? And the simplest way to explain what the beyond body is and the difference between what the beyond body and astral projection is, is that when I astral project, I feel a separation from my body. It's very distinct. Whether I turn out of my body or I float directly out. In the beyond body, this phenomenon that's been happening to me now for perhaps the last five years or so, with this, what happens is I feel my entire body in motion. I do not feel a separation. Now, this motion might involve me um, and my body turning um, to the left or turning to the right, turning around in a complete circle, going up, going down, and then feeling this acceleration, this motion as if my entire body is hurling itself through space. Again, no separation. It's a very interesting feeling, very, very interesting. But that is the biggest difference between the beyond body and astral projection. So uh, about 2.30 <laughs> or so in the morning, um, I had gotten up and went to the restroom, laid back down again. And um, I was on my left side, guys, my left side, and I was just resting. I had storm sounds on in the background for those of you who care about this. And suddenly I felt myself go into that middle space that I talk about. Uh, I call it the sweet spot. Um, it is a way of me raising my vibrational frequency to a point that I can have an experience. So the moment I felt that, I felt myself start to f fall off <laughs> my bed. And I've talked about this before. I've told you that every time this happens, I always feel as if I'm going to hit the floor when I come off. I feel like it's going to hurt. But this time it was interesting because when I came off the left side of my bed, which is what it felt like, it felt like I was falling off my bed. In um, enduring that fall, I thought to myself, stop. And the moment I thought that, I stopped and was hovering. It's very interesting. I don't normally do that. I just allow myself to fall and then I just stop, I guess, automatically, I guess. Um, but this time I willed it and it happened. So that was interesting. And then the next interesting thing that happened was that I began to hear a sound as I went into motion. So I went into motion, but I also start, started to hear a rushing kind of sound. Now, for those of you who astral project, you know this sound. This happens to you. Um, but I must tell you that 
because I've been doing this for 40 plus years, I've been doing this literally, guys, since the late 70s. When I was nine years old was when I had my first experience. And so I've done it for so long that I usually don't even, if these sounds and these other things are happening, I, I, I bypass them. I just go beyond it very, very quickly. So hearing that rushing sound was a very interesting thing for me because I, I don't normally hear a rushing sound. And as I heard it, I just thought to myself, I want to see my surroundings as I'm in motion. Now, I've done this before and I've seen different things, but this time what I saw was, well, let me tell you what it is that I saw. First, when I had the thought, I could see the outline of something, though I couldn't see what it was at first. So I could see this outline, right? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what this is. There were lines and there were other things, but it wasn't quite clear what exactly I was seeing. And then suddenly I could see a tunnel and this tunnel was completely transparent. And there was also a sense as I was looking at it and I was looking at, in, at this transparent tunnel that it had a certain or it was somehow alive or had a certain life force of its own. And outside of this tunnel was pure light, pure light, guys. So that's the first thing I saw while I was in motion going through this tunnel. The second thing that I saw was something that I will refer to only as a translation. And let me explain a little bit or explain what I mean by a translation. When our minds, and again, this is my belief, when our minds experience something out there, whether it be on the astral plane or wherever, that is b perhaps beyond its grasp, beyond its comprehension, it does a translation and we see something that is close to what, or we see something that we can understand something that we can comprehend when we're looking at that object. So the first thing I saw, and this thing just came, it was just suddenly there, and it was a train, a steam-driven train, and it was forged completely of iron. That was the sense or the feeling that I got when I saw this thing. It was complete iron it was big it was massive and it was moving so fast oh my gosh and I remember that I was not inside the train but I was flying um I was flying beside it I was not inside I was flying beside it and I was zigzagging around it up and down and guys it was such an amazing uh, sight to see this, to see this train, and even more to see how fast it was moving. It was, it was really, really, really intense. And my thought is this, if this is a, a direct translation, seeing this train, perhaps it's like, um, when I do the Beyond Body, there are stops along the way in the same way that if you were taking a train, you would make specific stops, right? And there may be specific routes as well. Also, I might be able to view in my mind maps so that I can see what realities I'm going to because as you know, for these years, it's, it's, it's always mostly been random like i'll just stop someplace and then 
boom, I'm, you know, in this place and I'm hanging out. So there may be a way for me to plan these trips out, to see where exactly I'm going and to go to specific places. So for me, it is a very significant observation. Really, really, truly is. Now, when I saw the train, and after a few moments, this experience ended, but again, it is very significant to me and something to truly think about. So I wanted to share it with you. And as I go along this journey and continue to make observations, I will share these observations with you in, um, you know, you can just let me know what you think. Thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. And until next time, take care.